OK, what we're going to look at here is the amplitude problem where you have a bearing of the sun either rising or setting. It's a compass bearing and you're asked to find your compass error. In this instance, example 3, gyro error as well. Uh, and we're told that the variation is 9 degrees east and we need to find the, the deviation for the ship's head. So we're going to the tables on the 1st of December and we look up a latitude of 48 degrees 26 south for sunrise, so the 1st of December, southerly, and we see that um, sunrise we have at 45 degrees it's 0409, and at 50 degrees south it's 0349, and we need to find uh, a time for 48 degrees 26. So we need to interpolate between those two values. So I've written here, we looked in the tables at 45 degrees and we got 0409. 50 degrees 0349. So you get the difference between the two times, which is 20 minutes. The difference between the two latitudes is 5 degrees. Then we go from 45 degrees to 4826. So that's 3 degrees 26. And we divide that by the 5 degrees, which is the difference between the two, and we multiply that by the 20 minutes because we're looking for a proportion of that 20 minutes. So 3 degrees 26 over 5 degrees times 20 gives us 14 minutes. So because we're going from 45 towards 50, our time is going down from 04, 09 to 0349. So we subtract the 14 minutes and it gives us a time of 0355 hours. So we've got here LMT sunrise 0355. Of course we need to find the GMT of sunrise. It's worth noting that in the book all the times for sunrise and sunset are LMT. So, let's go in with our longitude of 59 degrees 52 minutes east and we find that that equates to 3 hours 59 looking at the tables. Now because it's east, um, Greenwich is least, so what we need to do now, we need to subtract that value from the LMT value and that takes us into November the 30th at 2356. So what's happened now, we'll need to look in the tables on November the 30th at 2356 for the declination of the sun. So there's the 30th, 23 hours, we've got 21 degrees 44.6 south. And as you can see the declination is rising. Our D correction at the bottom is 0.4. Now I know in the example they haven't used this, but I think you should always apply the correction. So that's 0.4, and we would go in at 56 minutes with 0.4, and we'd find we need to apply 0.4. So in fact, our declination, our true declination, is 21 degrees 45 minutes south. Now to find the amplitude, sine of amplitude is sine dec over cos lat. So it'll be sine 21 degrees 45 over cosine of 48 degrees 26 and you'll get a value of 34 degrees for the amplitude. Now what you do with that, with the 34 degrees, we're told obviously that our declination is south and that the sun is rising. So the sun obviously rises in the east, so our value is east 34 degrees south. So what's happening is that it's east towards the south 34 degrees. So it's going to be 90 degrees, which is east, <coughs> plus the 34, so it's going to be a true value of 124. So it's 124 degrees true is the bearing of the sun when it rose. Now we were told that on the ship they got a bearing of 116 degrees compass. So we get the difference between the two and we find that the compass error is 8 degrees and it's east because compass is least. OK, 8 degrees east because compass is least. Now let's, so that's the compass error. And let's have a look at the gyro one now. 124 degrees true. And we're told the gyro was 123 degrees. 123 degrees gyro. So if it's 124 degrees, then there's only 1 degrees difference. And we can see that the gyro is actually reading low. Because on the ship you've got 123 and it's actually 124. So the error is low. Now let's see the best way to get the, um, the deviation. We know that a combination of variation and deviation gives us the compass error for the vessel. <coughs> we know our compass error. It's 8 degrees east. 
We're told at the start of the problem that our variation is 9 degrees east. So we need to find our deviation. The combination of variation and deviation gives compass error. Now, the compass error is 8 east, which is 1 less than 9 east. So that means our deviation must be 1 degree west. Because if you've got east and west, you subtract one from the other. So 9 degrees east minus 1 degrees west gives us a compass error of 8 degrees east. Therefore, our deviation must be 1 degree west. And that's the values that you get there to solve the problem. Now, it's the same formula for sunrise as it is for sunset. And declination, uh, you're, it's named north or south. And that's what you use, north or south, depending on declination, and west or east, depending on whether the sun is rising or setting. And therefore, your correction is going to go um, either, as in this one, from east towards the south, east towards the north, or it could go, if the sun was setting, it would go west towards the south or west towards the north. But just as I've done uh, in the example there.